Fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. All right, coming up next, the wait is over. We get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, I don't have to tell you guys how hard it is to realize a title shot at 170 pounds. This man has paid his dues. He has taken on everybody the UFC has put in front of them, finished most of those guys, and now after working his way up the ranks, he has realized his first UFC welterweight championship opportunity. Joe, it'll be interesting to see how his style matches up with the champion here tonight. This is his first world championship fight, a tremendous moment in his career. This is what he has been working for his entire UFC career, and there is an amazing amount of pressure on him at this moment. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than this, Joe Rogan, the UFC welterweight championship of the world as the champion makes his way to the octagon, fighting out of that patented red corner. He has held this belt down for some time, but a lot of people think we could be looking at a new champion here tonight. The current champion, not one of them. He believes the hype is not real for the challenger. He believes he is much better than this young man, and now healthy, he is ready to prove that he's not just the best welterweight in the world at present, he is the greatest welterweight of all time, winning this fight tonight against a significant challenger would certainly go a long way to proving just that. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. Woodley is six years his senior. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. It's for this first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 163 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, the assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Colin, the chosen one, Wally. All right.
fight. This is for the championship bout. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. Well, always great to be back in the Pacific time zone. We get oh! He's out! Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, near-perfect technique to land that seminal blow to finish the fight here in round one. And that's exactly the way a fighter draws it up. You don't absorb anything in terms of significant damage, and then you're able to knock your opponent out. So this is exactly the desired result for him here tonight. Let's see that again. Bang! So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is calling to stop to this contest at eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said, and knew. And he was crowned UFC welterweight champion of the world thanks to a memorable performance. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.